More than 100 faculty, residents, fellows, and students attended the first ever Duke Clinical Science Day on March 3rd. Duke School of Medicine Dean Nancy Andrews said events like this are important because they draw clinicians, investigators, and learners out of their labs and clinics to discover what is going on around Duke's diverse academic medical center. The collaborations that have resulted from a similar forum, Basic Science Day, are proof that these events serve an integral purpose. Uh, most of it is about creating synergism across departments and across investigators. There are a lot of commonalities that are presented, and so what you like to see is some people learn from another, get together afterwards, and maybe develop projects that, that wouldn't have been created otherwise. Department chairs, vice chairs of research, and professors representing each of the school's 13 clinical departments offered synopses of their work and recent achievements. Many of the presentations were followed by short, engaging question and answer sessions. Well, I like the dialogue. I like the fact that we're talking about research and we're talking about accomplishments. And so often we don't talk about accomplishments. We talk about process. But it's really fun to see the validation of all the work we do day in and day out. Stacy and Pappas were joined by Dr. Bob Harrington, director of the DCRI, and Dr. Mark Dewhurst, associate dean for faculty mentoring, to judge the posters on Friday evening. The winner of the best poster was Dr. Shahid Nimji, a neurosurgery resident. Poster runners-up were medicine residents Dr. Callie Coombs and Dr. Anne-Marie Navarre-Bogan. Attendees from senior faculty to medical students appreciated the open exchange of methods and ideas. It was fascinating to hear all the different research being done all over the medical campus and how a lot of it's very interconnected. The techniques and the, the things people are studying across departments are very related to each other. There's a lot of room for collaboration and, and clinical improvement. And also to hear people's exchange of ideas between departments, ways that people can help each other is pretty neat. And especially that this is open to students. Um, this kind of a forum to be open to just faculty would be really easy and straightforward, but for them to open it to students is a pretty exciting opportunity. Eligible attendees of the Clinical Science Day received four continuing medical education credits. Organizers see the potential for making Clinical Science Day an annual event at Duke.